click to another video Fernand Raymond here explaining you in this video about clicky on a tool that I used every day several times first things almost in the first when I want to look at the daily traffic what's like the site traffic where the traffic has come what are the daily traffic today so far out of the sites there that monitoring here some of the important sites uh, so what 2000 visitors had come so the best thing about click I covered this one in a previous video how useful is clicky but some are like I still use Google Analytics and stuff which is fine right but but clicky is a very easy platform to to use and that's why we have integrated it on Seekhost app as well which you even want Seekhost app you can even put the Google Analytics um, as well to show on the same dashboard but if you don't want any of those you can still go to clicky which is not a much of expensive tool if you want to use up to like three sites it's actually free but then if you want to use such of a plan like more sites 20 or 30 sites it just have a price point which goes up for like 10 it's up to 10 bucks i'm not even promoting an affiliate thing or anything i just want to show you all about if you are in this industry if you're one of our clients if you want to monitor the traffic if we how we actually look the site traffic so even like uh, when it comes to uh, websites this is how we will understand so when i put the clicky if i uh, so let me take you to the click to i take you to yesterday what are the traffic how many visitors came what are the pages where are the locations from how many organic sql searches means like actually which are the searches came from the search engines all those and and especially from an emails all the h refers it gives the data and and the other thing you get to see how many people how much of actions taken what was the total time if the total time is like this is over on this out of this 764 people they have spent this much of a time pending on the site which is really good right so you can see the traffic for seven days last six months nine months this year all those things so this especially is a tool that really helped me at Seacost to take a lot of action on, on on integrating those pop-ups call to actions what are the pages that's getting on a daily basis the traffic and how i can improve it this alone had helped us more than actually worrying about link building to improve on page time which helps tremendously look at this one out of this yesterday so 1294 people actual visitors came to the site and the spend hours was 86 hours almost the unspent time on a thing that many hours was spent on the site so such an, a good thing this many actions were taken on the site so if you look at these kind of pages free uh, one of the keywords like expired domains like we, we rank for this keyboard worldwide get get the visitors very intent keyword uh, key, uh, traffic that comes and we lead that traffic to go to the pbn hosting multiple ip hosting web hosting pages as well as to buy expired domains and things so knowing that this traffic actually comes the spend time where they navigate all these details really helps to uh, to take make decisions that's why i like this tool to use on a daily basis which i get to see this each and every site what are the pages that didn't get in the traffic how can i improve it so i will look at the, this site single spot is in the line of business okay just like 12 12 we said how can i utilize so if it is just yesterday if i take so i would look at last 28 days what are the pages getting more traffic and then i will try to go so the same page i will say last 28 is actually it's like 147 traffic then i can see the the ranks if i even google the keyword and the stuff I will try to see what are the ways that I can do to increase the on page time plus the navigation from this page for another particular page, which, which is actually some, very important to reduce the bounce rate, which opens up as to Google. The site is worth sending traffic because the traffic that comes goes to another page, to another page, to another page, and spend more time without just bouncing back, which, which helps the sites, sites on page time. So to look, when I see the site on page time, I'm like this side is good doing good but if i see 5000 visitors in a month and i'm like on page time is just like a couple of hours i'm like wow that's the thing that people are actually bouncing out so this is why this tool really helps to make decisions and look at the sites what are the traffic what where they come from where they spend most time how can we improve so very easy to use the tool clicky analytics if you want to integrate with google analytics you can integrate both with seacost app just go to seacost app 
create an account have it both you can integrate it and have it it's actually free as soon as you have it so you can literally rather navigate and go into this to google analytics and check it you can have it one dashboard and actually see that if you go to see cost uh, youtube channel you can see i have the integration process me as well as i think james had done a video and this tool is a good tool to use for anybody in this your space and if you are looking after multiple sites that you want to look at on a daily basis the traffic and to make decisions which is uh, very based on improving on pages your decisions of a site that you must uh, really uh, really uh, grow to the site to get to the next level so clicky analytics which is a good one you just can google it clicky and just check that out even free to use tool uh this is what i want to cover in this video today if you like this video make sure you subscribe to the if you're watching this on click to youtube channel subscribe to the channel ask any questions let me know some things that even you want me to cover in this your industry about any upcoming videos thanks for listening guys